After covering the servo motor, next we are going to start with the RGB LED strips and battery voltage monitoring. Let's first start with the two RGB LED strips attached underneath the robot body. And let me tell you, the two LED strips share the same pins 11, 12 and 13 on the Arduino Uno. Let's start with our first example which is about turning the LED strips on and off. As usual for the PWM, we have added the soft PWM library which is the same library for controlling the speed of all six motors. These are the pins our LED strips are connected to. In the setup function, we activate the soft PWM library. Now, the actual code is in the loop function that runs repeatedly. This instruction lights up the red LEDs with full brightness while all the other LEDs are off. Let's upload this program. With this program, we can only turn on the red, green or blue LEDs on the strips. To generate any color of our choice for this, we will need to make some changes in this code. This time, we are going to use the set color function to generate any color of our choice. It's just a user-defined function and it takes three inputs is the arguments. Its job is to mix these colors and it's done by changing the red, green and blue color values. Let's upload this program. Now, let's control these RGB LED strips using the ultrasonic sensor. I want the Arduino to turn on the red LEDs when there is an obstacle in front of the ultrasonic sensor and I want the Arduino to turn on the green LEDs when there is nothing in front of the ultrasonic sensor. So let's go ahead and take a look at the program. This program is the combination of ultrasonic avoidance example and the RGB LED strip example. We simply measure the distance using the ultrasonic sensor and then use some if conditions to check the distance and then accordingly control the LED strips. Rest of the code you can see is exactly the same. Let's upload this program. Now let's go ahead and measure the battery voltage. For the battery voltage monitoring, we have this program. You can see the battery pin is connected to the Arduino analog pin A3. Then we have this user defined function battery get voltage. Its return type is float and it doesn't take any argument as the input. We read the battery pin using the analog read function and then store the value in variable ADC value. Next, we convert this value into voltage. Next, we round the voltage value to two decimal places. And then finally, we return the battery voltage. We have another user-defined function to calculate the battery percentage based on its voltage. First, we store the battery voltage and variable voltage. Next, we map the voltage to a percentage and store it in the variable temp. 6.6 .6 is the minimum battery voltage when it's fully discharged and 8.4 is the maximum battery voltage when the battery is fully charged. This line of code ensures that the variable percentage is within the range of 0 to 100. If temp is less than 0, percentage will be set to 0. If temp is greater than 100, percentage will be set to 100. Otherwise, percentage will be set to the value of temp. You can read more about the min function and mix functions in the article. Finally, we return the percentage. Inside the setup function, I have activated serial communication and this time I'm using 115200 as a baud rate. Using the pin mode function, I have set the battery pin as the input. And then in the loop function, we send the battery actual voltage and percentage to the serial monitor. Let's upload this program. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode. And thanks for watching.